there is finally a forward movement when it comes to the fighters for the Indian Navy, that is the new fighters. French aircraft manufacturer Dassault Aviation's Rafale M, that is the Rafale Marine, has emerged as a front runner to back a mega contract from the Indian Navy for close to 26 fighters, leaving behind US firm Boeing's F 18 Super Hornet. Navy has submitted a detailed report to the Defense Ministry on performance of the Super Hornets and the Rafale M, which is the marine version of the fighter aircraft already in use with the Indian Air Force during two sets of demonstration. Remember that Boeing and Dassault Aviation had carried out operational demonstrations of the Super Hornets and the Rafale M respectively, showcasing Ski Jump, a crucial takeoff capability from the show based test facility at INS Hansa in Goa, to demonstrate their ability to operate from Indian aircraft carriers. Refusing to get into details, sources said that the report from the Naval Headquarters to the Defence Ministry mentions the positives only and that Rafale M met all criteria. Sources told the print that only one aircraft has been mentioned in the report and that is the Rafale M. The report to the Defence Ministry has been sent after detailed analysis by the Naval Headquarters on the performance by both the aircraft. Those undertaking the test had prepared a trial report that was sent to the Naval Headquarters for detailed analysis on performance and shortlisting of aircraft. Asked whether the lift size of India's indigenous aircraft carrier INS Vikram would be an issue, Sosa said both aircraft had to be brought up and down at a certain angle. While the wings of the Super Hornets fold, unlike the Rafale, these still had to be brought up and down at a certain angle. Both aircraft also have separate process in which the wings fold or let's say in which the wings can be accommodated. The design and space of the lift size has been a problem because it is understood to have been made taking the MiG-29K and the naval version of the Tejas aircraft into consideration. The Navy currently operates the Russian MiG-29K aircraft from the INS Vikramaditya. But with the commissioning of the INS Vikrant, the force has been seeking more fighter jets. The new contract is meant to be an interim arrangement because the Navy is betting on its indigenous fighter. Navy Chief Admiral Hari Kumar had last Saturday said that the future of Indian naval aviation was the indigenous twin engine deck based fighter or the TED BF, whose prototype is expected by 2026 27 and production to start somewhere around 2032. He also said that the existing naval fighter MiG 29K were in limited numbers and Russian spare supplies were also not very forthcoming. Sosa said the ball is now in the court of the Defence Ministry that will decide on the next course of action. They added that the contract is likely to be a government-to-government -government deal, just like the early order for the IAF's Rafale jets. It is learned that the French have offered to transfer some aircraft from its own naval fleet to ensure that the Indian Navy can operate them faster. However, all fighters are likely to be bought off the shelf only. That means there would be no Make in India component. Sources explained that the forward movement by the Indian Navy would mean that the proposal for more Rafale jets for the IAF is also likely to gather speed. This is because it would make for a more prudent financial decision to have more numbers of aircraft, thereby bringing down the cost. As reported by the print earlier, the government is thinking of splitting the mega deal for 114 multi-role fighter aircraft, that is the MRFA for the Air Force. Instead of acquiring the 114 fighters in one go, as was planned earlier, the government is looking at going in for initial order of 54 aircraft for the IF. This would entail 18 aircraft being bought off the shelf from the foreign original equipment manufacturer, that is the OEM, and 36 built in India through a joint venture under Make in India. This would be an order that would be placed with the foreign OEM directly. A follow-on order will be placed to the joint venture and this deal would be in Indian currency. For the print, this is Snehish Alex Philip. Do subscribe to your print's YouTube channel for more such videos.